production here. Nice. I think I wanted to do the harbor here, so we're going to buy a tile. Buy that tile there. Go production. We'll go harbor, and we'll place the harbor there. Yes. There is the first construction of our harbor. 88 degrees Fahrenheit here. So, yeah, you're probably sitting around... Uh, gotta give me a second while I think here again. Yeah, you're probably around the 20, 25 to 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Or not Fahrenheit. Celsius, so... It's a bit warm there, too. Is that regular temperatures around there, or is that uh, warmer temperatures for you? Or maybe it's colder temperatures? For where, where I am, it's a major fluctuation. It goes from... Oh, I'm not too sure what the minuses here would be in Fahrenheit. I guess during the summer here, it's anywhere between, I would say, 80 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit here. And in the winter, it probably gets anywhere between, I'm thinking probably around 60 to 80, maybe a bit lower than that, probably 50 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit here in the winter. I, th I think that's the equivalence to our minuses. I I could quickly search it up here if I needed to. Units need ordering. Sorry, guys, we're going to skip your turn. Let's see here. Minus 20 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. Is that correct? I guess, uh... Wow, that's... Is that right? So... 20 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. Wow, Fahrenheit really jumps. Because 20 degrees Celsius here is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. But if I go to... Minus 20 degrees, which is our average winter temperature. It goes to minus 4 Fahrenheit. So, that's quite the drop. I thought it would have been like 20 Fahrenheit or something. Wow, up to 100, 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Holy crap. Let, let me see what that is in here. Holy crap, that man, that is, that would be really hot here. 108 degrees Fahrenheit, e equivalence to Celsius is uh, 42 degrees Celsius. Wow, man, that would be extremely hot for me. I, I, like, I've worked in a kitchen before, and that was the average temperature in a kitchen. And it, it was, uh, that was hot for me. That's a major temperature difference there. That would, yeah, a major heat wave here. Definitely would not be able to stand that. So I'm guessing you're probably from the, uh, I can't remember if you said last night if you were from the States or not. I'm, I'm kind of guessing that you're from the States. Don't want to make any assumptions there, but you're from the states i would assume that you're from the lower half of the states wait i think you said you're from was it california is that what you said i really cannot remember i know i, th I think you said it I'm just uh, for some reason i can't remember
Oh yeah, so yeah, I, d I did remember seeing that. You're from California there. So yeah, I, I can kind of see it getting a bit warm there. I always, I've heard that California can get to be pretty hot around those areas there. Tell me, how, like, what is it like living in California? Because I've always seen a lot, uh, some people talking that there's like certain districts in California. Like you got your neighborhoods that are like sketchy neighborhoods, and then you got your like really fancy neighborhoods, and then you got your even fancier neighborhoods, I guess, because California is the area where I guess a lot of, like, production happens, entertainment videos and whatnot happens, and as a person from California, how, how is it there? I've always been curious. What would you, what would you have to say about California? Sorry for the quiet right now. I'm kind of looking down at my chat here, just waiting for a reply. If you're replying there, probably typing a bit. Cause I know, I know, up here where I live, it just like the area I live in. It's not bad. Um, kind of a quiet place. Not too much happens. It's a bit of a larger city, but not a big city. I live. In, I live in the capital of where I live, but where I live, it's the capital's. I don't know. I guess compared to some cities, it'd be more of a smaller to medium-sized city. And then a lot of the what happens around here is it's mainly just a lot of oil industries and stuff like that. And that's basically what's all around here is just oil work, union work for oil industries. And I do know that... Uh, there might be other companies in the city here, but I know the biggest uh, company for like animation and stuff here in the city that I live in is that uh, we have uh, was a Bioware Studios, the makers of oh man, um, you have to, have to give me a second while I try to remember what the name of the game they make is. I I don't play the game myself. I don't know. I just. I could play the game. I just never really gotten into it. Um, what was it Bio? What, what game does Bioware Studios make now? Um, oh, I'm gonna have to search it up because I cannot remember. What does Bioware Studios make? What does Bioware Studios make? Oh, uh, that voice recognition did not pick it up at all. They make the game Mass Effect. Yeah, I can't can't believe I forgot what that was. Yeah, the uh, main headquarters of Mass Effect is actually located here in the city that I am in. And I'm surprised they're like way off way off the like chart of where you'd see like game producers to be at. Or I guess way off the grid of where you'd see a game producer. They're here out in the middle of oil country making Mass Effect. But it, it's kind of nice because then if I ever just like. It's a nice company to have here in the city because it offers that availability for if you wanted to get into game making. And then uh, yeah the, the question I asked there is like. Uh, what is it like living in California or Los Angeles areas there? It's like. Like. I've never talked to anybody from that area, and I've always been curious about like, what what do you think of the area? Well, like, what is it like? Is it like high in, like, like entertainment productions and like, what is the area like? 
I guess is basically what I'm asking. Yeah, I remember uh, there was one night I went to a... It was a large video game bar arcade. So basically they have a restaurant bar on one side and a large arcade on the other side. And the uh, Bioware Studios was having their uh, Andromeda release party there. And it's like I just showed up there one night just wanted to go out with some friends. And we ended up getting into this party. Apparently we weren't, we weren't even supposed to be in this party. But we like showed up there and it's like yeah are you here for the Mass Effect party? And we're just like yeah sure. And they, they ended up like the people at the door ended up letting us into the Bioware private party for their release. And it, it was pretty awesome. I got a free t-shirt. A whole bunch of other free stuff because they're basically just giving it out to all their employees. And since I was in the party, it's like they gave me one and got to meet some cool people. And it was a, it was a pretty awesome experience and just like so out of the blue and pretty lucky that we got in. And then I know my brother showed up at one point, and since he, he's gone to school for animation, but he he hasn't done any animation, but he also knew some people there as well, so yeah, it was, it, it was nice. We got to meet a bunch of the people from the Bioware Studios, a bunch of the animators, voice actors, and I got to meet people from Bioware or, the, or in Mass Effect, so that I thought that was pretty awesome. Alright, I guess I should build something here in my game. I've been kind of looking down here at my chat, talking to some chat a bit. Alright, uh... We'll upgrade walls there. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break, just because I've been drinking some alcohol here, and it's kind of hitting me a bit. So, I'm gonna take a quick, probably less than a minute, so I will be right back. Already, and I am back. I hope that didn't take too long there. Yeah, at that one uh, place where uh, Bioware was having their uh, party at, they had a an HTC Vive display set up for them. So I, I got to go mess around on that for a while, and I like I had some expectations for it, but. After trying the HTC Vive there, it completely blew my expectations. Like, it was way better than I had ever imagined it would be. Alrighty, I got these Spearman. Can you guys create the forts? I hope you guys can create the forts. Got builders. I'm glad to be back. <laughs> 